Now I heard my junior brother Afenyo Markin, who having rejected the position of minority leader, is now on his way to becoming a micro minority leader. <laughs> bragging that he belongs to a party of rule of law and all that. Who doesn't know about MPP? We don't need, we in the National Democratic Congress don't need lectures from Afenyo Markin about democracy at all. Indeed, if there were any need for lectures in impunity, then we will uh, invite him as, a, as our lecturer. But if it is about democracy, he must shut up. He should go back to his region and take stock of his parliamentary candidates uh, uh, who have been shooting and killing people, his party people, who have been shooting and maiming people across the country. We are quiet not because we are going to sleep over this. We are sending notice that all this violence, right from 1996, uh, no, 2016, to date, will be properly investigated and our electoral system and democracy will be cleaned of these violent states. Immediately we take over. And so anybody who is thinking about abusing these three weeks, abusing uh, his power during these three weeks to create any problem, he must know that there will be consequences for him after the takeover. We want to thank you all and may God bless our homeland Ghana. Okay, please. No question. No, we want well, if you want to ask any questions, any you, are questions you are free to, to yeah. do so that our uh, Lord. Okay, thank you. The next question, please. Yes. Yeah. TV3. Yeah, so just to find out from you, if, uh, if you can inform the IGP about what is happening at the police uh, training school was as the head of the police service, it should be the okay. Yeah. Right. Next. So what happens to the constituencies that have been raised the flag? Yes. Oh, don't worry. I'm st I'm still general. Go ahead. <laughs> You just told us that the process of going at the police training school, the NDC as a party was not involved. Yes. You come to the conclusion that you are placing the reaction on the whole process. Did you arrive at this conclusion because at a point the NDC as a party realized that members or your candidates who were declared winners are now turning to be losers? Was that a position? Is that a position of the NDC? Okay. No. Okay. Yes, yes, huge one. Yes, so um, we think that what is happening is an illegal meeting, but we think that, and that results must be declared as consequences. Mm. But we think that other results were declared at the EC regional office here in Accra. Do you still hold the same position okay. on that? All right. Yeah. All right, so that will be all. Yeah. Blocking the service, they re declare it. Well, uh, <laughs> you can run, but you cannot hide. <laughs> this is notice that we are giving them. We are putting the whole country on notice. So, if an individual officer knows that he is conducting himself well according to law, why would you be running away from service? So, the fact that they are running away from service means that they intend to become fugitives, fugitives of the law.
and you know what it means when you get arrested. The injunction application has already been served on the Electoral Commission. Through one Daniel Nyamiche. So, the one who received the service is Daniel Nyamiche at the headquarters of the Electoral Commission. So, Electoral Commission has been served. Bosman Asari, Dr. Bosman Asari has acknowledged receipt of their application and the director of CID, Faustina Andokofi, appears to ignore the process and has asked the EC to continue. So if Andokofi is allowing the process to continue, he or uh, she would bear the consequences of his of her action. And uh, the rest of the questions it has been answered. Really? I'm saying that look if you all sign a declaration here that we are going to commit crime, does that make the commission of the, the killing of the person legal? No. It does not. It's conspiracy to commit crime and they can deal with all of you and i'm saying as leader of this party that i'm not involved in anything that has uh, you know arrived at any consensus to do anything anywhere and when there is a declaration nobody can do any other declaration you resort to court if a fenyo marking is listening you go to court all these charges about i declared under duress and so on evidence. they will be part of the evidence that you will lead in court that i did this under duress and then the elements of duress will be investigated the particulars of the duress will be investigated and then it will take the court to make a pronouncement on your claim so you can't say that an electoral officer has told you that uh, he, de uh, he declared the results, but he was pressurized to declare it. So you are going to call that person to come and recall it and redeclare. It hasn't happened anywhere. If that is the case, the process will go on ad infinitum because anybody in any of the constituencies can come out and claim that he or she was uh, uh, asked to declare under duress so what do you do you have to go and open up that is why the law is very very clear that once the declaration has been made you can only question that declaration in the court of law and in the case of parliamentary is the high court so you